All right, we are going to make a heart today. I'm gonna to go to file. Actually, I'm gonna to go to new part. File, save as. Heart, save, and start a new 2D sketch on the XY plane. So we're going to start off, we're going to make a T, and then from the T we're going to build these arcs that create the um, heart. So I'm going to start with the line, <clears throat> and let's see, um, probably make it about, I don't know, try and make it about this big in real life. So maybe we make this vertical line if it allows me 4.0 inches and it has to be 90 degrees up against the Y axis going up vertically, hit enter and you can see I'm grabbing it with the scroll button. So you can see I have a vertical line which is lined up perfectly with the y-axis, which is why you can't really see it. So I'm going to hit escape and then maybe I'm just trying to ballpark this. So from the top, when it turns green, <clears throat> we don't want to create a gap, right? So we want that right on the top. And maybe let's try I think doing two inches out on both sides so enter and then I hit escape go back to line and then another two inches out this way escape so I have like this T shape and what I'm gonna do is build the heart like this just around that T so I'm gonna use arc right here so the first one so I click on arc and the first thing that I do and I'll zoom in a little so you can see this is I'm gonna click on the center when it's green I'm following this dotted line out to the end and when that turns green I click once more and then if I pull my mouse up you'll see that the arc starts to create itself and this little dotted line as soon as it snaps right on that perpendicular line and then you should see this tangent symbol down here. So see that tan tangent symbol? I click and it creates an arc for me. Then I do the same thing on the other side. So from this green center point, I click once, I drag out my dotted line to this end when it's green and then I pull the arc up until I see tangent click and hopefully you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here then and this might be too long as so, well might be okay so again I have my green dot gotta make sure it turns green there because then I know that I'm at the end point of the line so I click I'm gonna drag it down to the very bottom when it's green and then pulling out this arc until I think I should right there see where tangent shows up it, you're gonna see it right here so you have to be slow with the mouse right there so as soon as I see tangent click and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side waiting to see tangent Ooh, right there so this is kind of an elongated heart. I probably would have shortened this up just a little bit to make it look better, but I think you understand um, what I was trying to do there. Um, it's possible you could have maybe just created a point there. Maybe this would be 3.5 inches as opposed to four. Um, but after you finish this, you can play around with that. I'm gonna delete that center line. I'm going to delete the um, dimensions. So just deleting this stuff. You could also use trim, so using the scissors. 
delete. And then now I should have, I know it looks like there's a line going through the middle, but that is just the Y axis. I hit finish sketch, home, extrude, and we'll extrude to one inch. And we'll make this thing, I don't know, make it red. Cool. Um, we could, <clears throat> so right now we have our heart, and we hit save. You could also, um, I'm going to play around with delay really quick. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, you could maybe fillet the edges just to make it look a little more um, rounded off. So now it okay, close that. So you can see the difference between the front side and the back side. You could also do this to the back side. I'm just holding down shift and the scroll button in order to orbit the object. And we have delay. see what it's doing here. Okay, it's having some odd issue. I'll stop right there. Um, I don't want to waste time in the video figuring that out for now, but um, yeah, you could chamfer um, or fillet these edges. You could also chamfer them too. Hit save again and you're done.